Right, welcome back to another video. Tonight, just about an hour ago, it broke that Momo Redox has found their last forward for the season 2023-2024. It's the uh, 30-year-old Alan Quinn um, that's being brought in from Ontario Rain. I had a little quick look at him before I started recording this video. Did 27 points in 64 games for Ontario Reign. Uh, he had 28 points in 39 games for Henderson Silver Knights last year. Um, so those are, I mean, despite the fact that it's significantly less amount of games played there and just about the same amount of points, he's mostly an assist guy. That's fine. Um, He's been around. He's been jumping around a lot. Hopefully we can sign him up on a multi-year multi deal. We don't know the deal yet. Um, but yeah, this is the last guy to come into the fold for the new roster. And uh, he's looking pretty good. I mean, if we take a look at... Um, if we take a look at the Malmo roster, right? You can see that there's been a change in age, like significant change in age. The team is significantly younger, um, especially on the on the D side. We have uh, Jacob Galvas coming in, 24 years old. We have uh, well, Temu Kivihame is 28, but still, you know, it's significantly younger than um, than the ones that were going out. Um, Thomas Bipol, son, 23 years old. Um, Anton Walbert, obviously, 18 years old. Um, Albert, Albert Huerba is the new guy, also. Uh, he's 20 years old. So there's there's been a significant change in, in age. Lauri Payuniemi, 23 years old. Janek Kukanen is now 25 years old. Still pretty young in terms of, you know, where we are as a team and as a league in the hierarchy um so uh the fact that he's 30 years old i don't think that it is that bad i think we need a little bit of leadership and a little bit of experience in this significantly younger team compared to last year uh, the average age is 25.67 if we compare that to last year <clears throat> it was 26 now okay not too not too different but you include Christian Veselainen who left you include um Freddy Lawson who did play very very few games he played like two games Yelte Cruz Thompson played like two games one game something like that so some of these guys some of these young guys did not play more than one or two games so this is significantly skewed this was significantly higher before they added these guys. So my point is, and also uh, Theodore Junson, he basically didn't play at all for the men's team. Noah Huelin didn't play at all for the men's team. Um, so it's a big ch shift in, in age overall. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a big deal. We need a little bit of experience, a little bit of leadership. I think we'll get that with Alan Quinn. I think it's a decent signing. Hopefully he pans out okay on the big rink. He's only been playing in North America before, which is pretty usual. Uh, but he's decided that he wants to try Europe, I imagine. So, yeah, hopefully he pans out well. Um, and, yeah, that is the news video for today. We'll, I will update with another video once we know more. About this guy this is just basically initiated information to this guy who is a uh, correspondent for the newspaper and he covers uh, Momo Redox uh, closely so um, so yeah all right guys that is it for this one thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon bye